guys welcome back to my channel so today is one of those days where things don't quite go to plan so my daughter is poorly today so she's off school and um yeah it's just it seems to be a little bit sort of crazy when your child's poorly because you don't expect it and plans change and obviously the, you want to make them better so today I thought I would do a video on how to deal with poorly children um, now I'm not a medical professional however I am a mum of 12 years now so I feel I feel over the years you learn pretty quick um, and you learn to have certain things in your house so I thought I would maybe give you some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way so let's get into it shall we so my first bit of advice would be don't panic I remember having my son um, many years ago and he would get poorly and it was quite a shock at first because you panic and you sort of go into overdrive um, however do try and rationalize it in your brain because usually nine times out of ten we are lucky enough that these illnesses pass and it's just something that we've kind of got to ride out so try and stay calm I know it's hard so the next tip is to always have a thermometer in the house. Um, a normal temperature for a baby or a child is 36.4. Anything over 38 is considered to be a fever and it doesn't seem to be coming down with your regular Calpol and Nurofen. You may need to speak to your doctor, but yeah, anything over 38 is considered to be a temperature, so just keep an eye on that. So the next one is to make sure that they stay hydrated, uh, more so when they're poorly. Um, so plenty of fluids to drink it may be that your child has had a tummy bug and they may be struggling to keep things down um, you may also want to consider buying some diarolite I don't think it might vary from country to country but basically that is um, a little sachet that you can get and it's full of salts just to rehydrate them in case they are struggling with hydration but yeah plenty of fluids just to keep them topped up and where they need to be so the next one is to always have a well stocked medical box things like Nurofen for kids Calpol um, Dyrolite as I say to replace any salts lost in the body Pyroton anything that you may need and things that you have in your medical box will also help keep those symptoms at bay so that you can manage them at home um, which may also prevent you having to take your child out to the doctors or the hospital I don't think there's anything worse than sitting there with your child when they're poorly and they're on your knee and they're uncomfortable and they just want to be in bed so anything that you can have at home that will prevent you having to leave the house is a win to be honest always give the medicine as per the instructions on the back of the box so make sure that your child is in a well aired room if possible um, you don't want to stuff your room and obviously we want to get rid of all those bugs if possible so maybe crack a window just just a small amount but it's quite important that we keep that air circulating so that we can get rid of the bugs so yeah a well aired room is a must so my next tip would be to make sure you have some antibacterial spray to hand and run around maybe spraying all the high touch areas now I know you're probably thinking how do I have this time I have a poorly child at home which I know it's, it's not nice but I promise you this is a lifesaver so as I say just go around spraying all the high touch areas so that may be the um, the door handles the work surfaces the light switches and the toilet flush anything that you think of that may be a high touch area that everybody would be using this will hopefully prevent those bugs from spreading to everybody else and you can get your house well again so my next tip is something that we've done for years and I don't know why it works but it definitely works for us and that is the vapor rub trick on the soles of the feet so whenever my children are coughing um, you find that this is obviously worse at night and it can prevent them from getting to sleep or if they're coughing so much they may be sick which is never very nice so years and years ago when my son was born um, somebody told me to buy um, some Vicks vapor rub scoop some out of the tub and lather it on the bottom of their the soles of their feet um, and then pop some socks on and within about 20 minutes to half an hour you'll probably find that the cough has subsided like immensely or completely stopped 
this always blows my mind would highly recommend always having some vapor rub to hand especially in the winter months because obviously we're always we always seem to be coughing don't we but it works a treat so the next one may be a bit tricky, but I always try and do it. So if you know that your child is poorly, say they've been sent home from school or they've woken up and you can, as a, as a, as a mum, I think it's instinct. You kind of know, don't you, when they're poorly. So if once you've established that they are poorly, I would try and offer them a warm bath, strip them off, obviously give them a nice bath. And we want to kind of wash all those bugs away if we possibly can. And then you want some fresh pajamas. And if you do have time, you kind of want to change the bedding and this will prevent the spreading of the bugs throughout the whole house. So my next one is lots of cuddles. Um, now, sometimes my children panic if they're poorly um, because obviously it's not very nice, is it? Even as adults, it's horrible being poorly. So sometimes if my kids have been poorly for quite a long period of time, they start to worry if they're never gonna get better. So lots of love, lots of cuddles, just to reassure them that they're gonna be fine and they're safe and this will just help to perk them up and hopefully make them feel a little bit better. So another tip is lots of movies and mine tend to usually camp out in the living room so I will let them grab their pillow and a blanket and we will stick on their favorite movie and even if they are sleeping a lot of the time, even if it's just playing in the background, I feel like it's a nice, comfortable relaxing environment for them to to feel safe and to have a restful sleep so lots of movies and lots of rest and downtime so my last one is to get them some craft supplies now i know most children probably enjoy drawing or coloring and what i tend to do with mine is wherever they're sitting it's usually in the living room as i say because they're normally camped out in the living room i will maybe get them a tray together and on that tray i will put some pens, some paper or a colouring book, maybe a little bit of glue and some scissors um, and just sit them up wherever they are, prop them up in bed or on the settee, put a tray on their knee and just let them, you know, do some crafty things and be, let them be creative. They may not feel like doing it for a while, it might just be a five minute thing, but again, this is just, maybe if they've been poorly for a few days and, you know, they're missing their friends and it's, boring isn't it it's really boring being poorly this might just give them something to take their mind off being poorly and something fun to do um my daughter as you'll see she she's at home today so we've had the same uh, we've had the um you know the, the couple of days where it's just been you know not very nice and today she's felt well enough to sit up and we got her a book and she got the ipad and she was copying some something on the ipad that she wanted to draw um and it just made her feel good for sort of you know five ten minutes or so so that is all my hints and tips for taking care of poorly children. I hope you find it helpful and if you're going through it at the moment, I know how you feel because I am there and it's never very nice, but I feel as mums, we can help each other out and share our hints and tips that hopefully make life a little bit easier in that not so nice period. So if you did enjoy this, please give it a big like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I post a video, you will be notified and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.